Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Taylor and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be taking you guys with me to shop at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I'm actually videoing this in the car right now because I forgot to um, film the intro before I left the house. So I will be taking you guys with me to shop the um, makeup section at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to keep this intro super short and sweet. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you. Also, make sure if you're posting notifications, turn on. I'm almost to 2,000 subscribers and once I hit 2,000 subscri subscribers it is giveaway time. So I am going to be starting in the makeup today, and the first thing I seen was this Lorax set. Um, this is a set that is no longer sold on their website, but it does say it has a value of $29. Um, as you guys can see, it has like a blush, a powder, and then like a primer, and it was $9.99 at Marshalls today. Next was this Makeup Revolution Watermelon Highlighter. And um, this one was actually looked like it was open, but it does retail for around $8 on their website, and it was only $3.99 at Marshalls. Next, we do have some Becca. This is a older Becca product. This is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop um, highlight, and I did throw up a picture of what it looks like. Um, this is actually no longer sold on uh becca's website you can play it buy it on ebay and places like that but it was only 9.99 here at marshall's next we do have some elf primer um this is the soothing face primer it does retail for around seven dollars at ulta but it was only 2.99 here at marshall's now we do have some more elf um this is a hi highlighter this is a foundation and um you guys can see it does look a little bit old maybe i don't know but it was only 2.99 here at marshall's today Next, we do have some No Pore Blum Base. Um, so this is actually a product they no longer sell on their website. Like but you can buy it on Amazon for around $15. But it was only $9.99 here at Marshalls. Next, we do have some more No Pore Blum Primer. This is the primer. This is like the famous primer. Um, they, it does retail for around $18 at Ulta but it was only $9.99 here at Marshalls, and I do love this primer. Now we do have some Cover FX. This is the perfect um, setting powder. It looks like a mini size one to me. I'm not sure if that's the normal size, but it was only $5.99, and the full size one does retail for around 30 some dollars. Now we do have some more e.l.f. Um, this is a contour and blush bronzing powder for only $2.99. And it wasn't much more expensive on their website for only $2.20. I mean $3.20. Next, we do have some more e.l.f. Um, this is just a blush for $2.99. You guys can tell I did find a lot of e.l.f. here at Marshalls today. Now we do have some Morphe. Um, this is a Dimension effect highlighter and contour stick it does retail for ten dollars on morphe's website but it was only 3.99 here at marshall's and it was in i can't read the shade <laughs> but now we have some more elf this is the multi-dimension um face and body shimmer it does retail for around eight dollars but it was only 4.99 at marshall's next we do have some revlon this is a primer um, and it is the photo ready color correcting primer. They do have it on Amazon for $13, but it was only $4.99 here at Marshall's. Now we do have some Maybelline and this is actually a product that is discontinued and it does say that on their website that it has been discontinued. So this is a older product, but it is a foundation stick. Um, some of these products we've seen today are definitely older products that I have not seen for a long time. Um, but we are back with some Morphe. This is a highlighter. It does retail for $14 on Ulta's website. This is the um, high impact highlighter. It was only $4.99 at Marshalls. 
Next, we do have this ABH um, Liquid Glow Highlighter Duo, um, and I have seen this a couple times since I've been here. Uh, they no longer have this for sale in the Duo online, but usually a one of the highlighters are around $20, so this was a Duo for $9.99, so that's a really good deal. Next, we are back with some e.l.f. This is the Mix to Adjust uh, Adjuster, so they no longer have this for sale, but I threw up a picture of what it does on the screen. It was only $2.99. Now we do have some more ABH. This is the Subculture palette, and I did throw up pictures yeah. and swatches of what it looks like. Um, actually, this palette has been discontinued. It was only $24.99 here at Marshalls, and if you guys know, um, normally this palette would be around $40. He's right there. Now we have some Cream Shop. This is a clear eyelash adhesive. Um, it does retail for around $5, I think, on their website, but it was only $3.99 here at Marshalls today, and it was latex free. Now we do have some Bobbi Brown. This is the Finish Tinted Moisturizer. It does retail for around $48 on Bobbi Brown's website, but it was only $19.99 at Marshalls, so that is a really good deal. It was like half the price. Now we are back with some e.l.f. and this is actually the Mint Melt brush set. I've been seeing a lot of people finding this and I'm super excited that I found it. Um, but it does retail for around $6 but it was only $4.99 here at Marshalls. And there on the back of it, it shows what kind of brushes are in it and it is only three brushes. Next we do have this BH Cosmetics. Um, this is not a palette actually, this is a brush and it is a big... Um, fan brush I would think is what it's called yeah and there's a picture of what it looks like on the back it was only $3.99 and they actually no longer sell these on BH Cosmetics website next we do have some makeup revolution and this is the friends collab palette it does retail for around $15 but it was only $4.99 at TJ Maxx and yes now we are we are switching over to TJ Maxx um, that was the first TJ Maxx product. Now we do have another Makeup Revolution palette, and I'm not entirely sure what this one is called. I couldn't really find it anywhere online, but it was only $4.99, and it looked like really pretty shades. Now we do have some Cara Beauty. This is the Shocking Berry. It does retail for around $15.99, but it was only $4.99 here at TJ Maxx. So it's a really good deal. Um, and those eyeshadows always look really pigmented. But now we have some more Makeup Revolution. This is the Heartbreakers palette. Um, it was $7 at Ulta, but it was only $3.99 here at TJ Maxx. Now we do have, um, this is a Morphe palette. This is the Morphe Times Maddie Zagaler. Um, this is an eyeshadow palette. I threw it up on the screen. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty colors, um, but it was only $14.99. And I believe they only had one or two of these. Next, we do have the Morphe 39S, such a gem palette. Um, and it's a, like a purple and pink shade palette and actually I love this palette. I do have this palette You could go back on my channel and um, see my review on it when I did it when it first came out Now we do have some Pacifica. This is the cherry matte mattifying primer. It does retail for around $13 right now at Ulta Now we do have PYT Beauty um, I've been seeing this here at TJ Maxx a couple times, so I decided to go ahead and video it. I could not find it anywhere online, only on Amazon, and it was around $8, but it was only $5.99 here at TJ Maxx. Next, we are back with some Urban Decay. This is a Soundtracked eyeshadow palette, um, and actually this palette was only $10.99, and I, have show I think I have showed you guys this before, so this was not my first time seeing it. Next, we have this um, Makeup Revolution Summer of Love. This is like a bronzed, highlighting, illuminating um, little heart-shaped thing. It was only $3.99. I could not find it anywhere online, um, so I think this is an older product. Now we do have some Beauty Blender. Um, this is actually the Beauty Blender 
pore minimizing primer um, it does retail for $32 but it was only $7.99 here and I did buy the beauty blender um, foundation at TJ Maxx and I love it now we do have some physicians formula this is um, the rose all day set and glow so you guys can see it has like a glow illuminator and then a powder it was around $15 on Amazon actually and it was really a lot cheaper here at TJ Maxx. Now we do have a Jaclyn Hill palette. I've been seeing tons of Jaclyn Hill palettes. Um, this was the Bling Boss. It did not have a price on it. Now we do have some more Cara Beauty. This is the Bailey versus Kaylee palette. Um, it does retail for around $24 and you guys can see what the inside of the palette looks like right there um, It was only $9.99 here at TJ Maxx and it looks like beautiful um, eyeshadow shades Now we do have another makeup revolution. This is the Roxy um, palette. It's a highlight and contour palette and it was only $4.99 Now we do have some more Cara Beauty. This is the um pop that glitz palette and you guys can see what it looks like right there it looks to me like it is mostly um chunky glitters it was only 9.99 here at tj maxx today now we do have some pure this is the extreme visionary palette and you guys can see what it looks like right there on the screen it does retail for 32 dollars at ulta but it was only 9.99 today here at tj maxx